Thank you very much, it was very tasty. JJ, dude, look at that beautiful lake. How about we hit the waves on a jet ski? Oh, absolutely, Mikey. I've been itching for some water adventure. Let's rent one right here, right now. Perfect! Hey, excuse me, sir. We're looking to rent a jet ski for some high-speed fun on the lake. What are the rates? Guy, hey there. It's $4 per hour, and we've got a special deal going on three hours for $120. JJ, check it out. They've got a killer deal going on. One hour for just $4? Can you believe it? No way, that's insane. Mikey, let's grab that offer, save some bucks, and still have a blast on the jet ski. Mikey, this is the steal of the century. Ready to tear up the lake for an hour? You know it, JJ. Let's make every minute count. Helmets on, throttle up. Time for an hour of pure adrenaline. Couldn't agree more, Mikey. Let's make some waves and memories. Buckle up, my friend. It's go time. It's surreal, JJ! We've talked about this for ages, and now we're about to ride in style! Let's suit up in those matching dream colors! Red and pink, the envy of the lake. Mikey, this is like a childhood dream come true. Let's make these jet skis dance on the waves. Couldn't agree more, JJ. Grab those red jerseys and let's hit the water. It's not just a ride, it's a statement. The lake won't know what hit it. JJ, these jet skis are a blast. But you know what? I think we've had our fill. What do you say we give someone else a chance at the thrill? JJ, these jet skis are a blast. But you know what? I think we've had our fill. What do you say we give someone else a chance at the thrill? Hey, my pleasure. Glad you enjoyed it. Anything else I can help you with? Here's $2 as a tip for making our day. Absolutely, man. You made our dreams come true, and we wanted to thank you for the generosity. Well, that's unexpected, but greatly appreciated. Thank you both. Enjoy your time at the beach. It's the least we can do, sir. Now, JJ, let's hit the regular beach, take a leisurely swim, and soak in the sun. JJ, check out that stunning girl over there. I want to talk to her, but I'm nervous. What if she's not interested? Mikey, you've got this. Just be yourself. And hey, let's mention the jet skis being for sale here. Maybe that'll break the ice. All right, here goes nothing. Hey there, couldn't help but notice you enjoying the beach. By the way, did you know they sell jet skis around here? Oh, really? That's cool. I've never been into jet skiing, though. And, um, I've got to run now. No worries. If you ever change your mind, they're a blast. By the way, have a great day. Smooth, JJ. Smooth. Well, at least we tried. And who knows? Maybe she'll remember the jet ski conversation and come back for more. Exactly, Mikey. Now, let's focus on enjoying the beach and maybe find some more jet ski enthusiasts later. The day is still young. Did you see that? The girl dropped some cash and keys to a Lamborghini. We should grab them and return it to her. Look, we're taking them for ourselves because they are for my wife. I'll take them for ourselves. And in the meantime, we can buy special things for ourselves. JJ, I can't believe you suggested taking the money and car keys from the bathroom. That's not cool, man. Come on, Mikey. It was just lying there. Finders keepers, right? No way, JJ. We can't just take someone else's belongings like that. It's wrong on so many levels. Okay, okay, I get it. Let's put the money and keys back where we found them. My bad, Mikey. It's not about putting them back. It's about not doing it in the first place. We need to have some integrity and respect for others. You're right, Mikey. I messed up and I'm sorry. Let's do the right thing and return what we took. Good call, JJ. And let's remember, honesty is always the best policy. Let's just go ask that seller. Maybe we can buy this jet ski or ourselves. This is my childhood dream. I think we will come true. Hey, sir, quick question. We were wondering if the jet ski we rode earlier is available for purchase. Oh, you like the ride that much, huh? Well. I do have this model for sale. Absolutely, sir. How much are you asking for it? Oh, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but unfortunately, I don't sell them here. However, there's a store nearby where you can make the purchase. Just head straight, take a left, then a right, and go straight again. It's right next to the bank. Got it. Thanks for the info. We'll head over there and check it out. Absolutely, sir. Appreciate your help. We'll follow your directions and hopefully be jet ski owners in no time. My pleasure. Guys, enjoy the ride and good luck with the purchase. If you ever need tips on jet skiing, you know where to find me. Safe travels. Thanks a bunch. We'll definitely keep that in mind. Let's follow his directions, JJ, and make our way to that store. 
Who would have thought today would turn into a full-fledged jet ski adventure? Right? From renting to potentially owning one. Talk about a day full of surprises. Let's get going, Mikey. Straight, left, right, and we should be at the jet ski store in no time. Absolutely, JJ. Today's turning out to be one for the books. I can already picture us cruising on our very own jet ski. Let's make it happen. It's surreal, Mikey. Never thought our day would involve a potential Lamborghini joyride. Let's not waste any time. Full speed ahead. Buckle up, JJ. This is going to be one heck of a ride. The owner might be surprised, but who can resist a Lamborghini adventure, right? Absolutely, Mikey. Lamborghini, here we come. Hope we don't break any speed records. Let's go find a consultant who will help us buy a jet ski because we can't handle it ourselves, and we really need a jet ski. Welcome. How can I assist you today? Hey there. We're looking to buy a jet ski. It's been a dream for both of us. Absolutely. We've had an incredible day, starting with renting jet skis, and now we're ready to make it official. Buying our own. The Turbo Splash 3000 is an excellent choice, but it's priced at $1,000 each. However, I can't offer a discount on two of them. Oh man, that's a bit steep. JJ, we might need to rethink this. We only have $200 and we also have this massive ship worth $10 million, but we're far from affording it. Yeah, Mikey, it seems like we're in a bit of a bind. Sir, is there any way you can cut us a deal? Maybe $100 each for two jet skis? I understand your situation, guys, but I can't lower the price that much. It's just not feasible. Well, JJ, looks like we need to figure out how to bridge this money gap. Any ideas on where we can scrape up some extra cash? Well, looks like we've hit a financial roadblock here, JJ. Yeah, Mikey, it's a bummer. Maybe we'll figure something out. Sir, thanks for your time, but we'll have to pass for now. Maybe we'll see you again with a bag full of cash and a desire for some high-speed adventures. Mikey, buddy, don't worry. We'll figure this out together. Let me make a call to a friend. Maybe there's a quick gig we can pick up to earn some extra cash. Thanks, JJ. I just really wanted those jet skis, you know? It's frustrating not having enough money. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Robbing a bank? That's a bit extreme, isn't it? Mikey, our friend seems pretty confident about this plan. Let's hear him out. All right, listen up. We ride the jet ski under the bank, dig through, grab all the gold. And make a quick escape. There's a getaway car hidden behind the bank for a speedy exit. We gotta move fast. Time is of the essence. Robbing a bank? Seriously? That's not only illegal, but risky. We could end up in serious trouble. I'm with Mikey on this one. It sounds too dangerous, man. Is there any other way to get the cash we need? Guys, I know it sounds crazy, but think about the jet ski thrills we've had. I don't know, man. Robbing a bank is not the kind of adventure I had in mind. All right, JJ, if we're going through with this crazy plan, let's at least make sure the jet ski is fueled up and ready to roll. Agreed, Mikey. Our friend prepared everything for us, so let's do our part and get some gas before hitting the bank. This is still nuts, but if we're going to do it, might as well do it right. Gas station's just ahead. Let's fill her up. Yeah, and remember, we're doing this for the jet skis, not the bank heist. Let's hope this all works out. All right, JJ, we're heading to the bank for this heist. I can't believe we're doing this, but let's stay focused and get it done. Yeah, Mikey, our friend seems to think we're professionals at this. Just remember, it's all for the jet skis, right? I hope our friend's confidence in our professionalism is well-placed. Let's stick to the plan and make a quick exit. Got it, Mikey. Once this is over... All right, JJ, we're almost under the bank. This tunnel digging is nerve-wracking, but we're committed. Yeah, Mikey, once we're in... Grab the gold, and let's get out of here. Remember, it's all for those jet skis. This is it, JJ. Once we're in, grab as much gold as you can, and we make a swift exit. Hold on, JJ. There's security ahead. Stay low and quiet. We need to get that gold without getting caught. Got it, Mikey. We can do this. Let's take advantage of the moment. It seems like there's not much guarding the gold. Quick, JJ. Let's grab as much as we can. It looks like the security is lighter than expected. This is our chance. Got the gold? Now let's make our way back the same route we came in. All right, JJ. Let's backtrack the same way we came in. Stay low, stay quiet, and let's get out of here without anyone noticing. All right, JJ. We got the gold. Now, into the getaway car. And let's meet up at the rendezvous point near the parking lot. Got it, Mikey. Smooth getaway is the key. Let's make sure we blend in and not draw any attention. Keep your eyes peeled, JJ. We need to get there without anyone catching on to us. Absolutely, Mikey. JJ, 
Jet skis or not, we can't afford any slip-ups now. Let's go, full speed ahead. So, what's the deal, friend? We got the gold, what's next? Hand it over! Guys, in return, I'll give you a boatload of cash. Enough for those jet skis you've been dreaming of. Seriously? All right, here's the gold. We're counting on you to make this worth it. Well, looks like we've got more than enough for the jet skis now. Thanks, friend! That was one wild ride, JJ. We've got the cash, and now it's time to make those jet skis a reality. Absolutely, Mikey. I never thought our day would involve a heist, but at least it brought us closer to our dream. Let's hit that jet ski store. Thank you for helping me. I'm very glad that you contacted me. Goodbye and good luck. This is it, JJ. No more crazy schemes. Just us. The jet skis in a day filled with adventure. Couldn't agree more, Mikey. Today turned out to be something else, but in the end, it's all worth it. Now, we will definitely buy a jet ski for ourselves, and we now have the money for this. Hey there, we're back. Is it possible to finally buy those jet skis? We've got the cash. Absolutely. If you've got the money, you can have the jet skis. Let me handle the paperwork. Here you go, sir. We've been through quite a day. Here's the money, sir. It's been a wild journey, but we're finally getting those jet skis. Great. I appreciate your business. Your jet skis are ready to roll. Have a fantastic time out on the water. Thanks a lot. We're looking forward to some legal and thrilling rides. Take care. JJ, can you believe it? We finally have our own jet skis. This is unreal. I know, Mikey. It's like a dream come true. No more crazy schemes. Just us in the open water. Thank you very much for your purchase. Good luck to you. Definitely. We've got the coolest rides now. Let's make some waves, Mikey, and create awesome memories on our new jet skis. Mikey, let's get these jet skis into the water. I can't wait to feel that rush on our very own rides. Absolutely, JJ. The lake is calling our names. This is the moment we've been waiting for. It's like a dream, Mikey. From bank heist plans to this, our own jet skis ready to hit the water. One day later. Today is such a great day. We can finally relax. Where is my friend Mikey? Finally, I'll meet him. They didn't lock me out on the street. I can't enter the house. Please help me. I need your help. Save me. JJ, mate, have you noticed how our kids have turned our place into a mini war zone? I mean, I love the energy, but it's getting chaotic. I hear you, Mikey. It's like they've got a surplus of energy, and I have no clue how to channel it. Our living room looks like a battlefield, and I'm not even exaggerating. We need a game plan. Something to keep them occupied and, you know, less destructive. Maybe take them to the playground? Let them run wild there instead? Brilliant idea, Mikey. Burning off that energy at the playground sounds like a win-win. We get a breather, and the little terrors get a chance to unleash their boundless energy in a more suitable environment. I'll grab some snacks, and we can make it a proper outing. Maybe tire them out enough that they'll actually listen when we ask them to settle down at home. All right, kids, here we are at the playground. Get ready for some serious fun. Finally, we will go relax on the playground. Thank you very much. Look at them go, Mikey. It's like they've been unleashed on a playground paradise. I've never seen them so excited. This was definitely the right call. Let them burn off that energy in a controlled chaos kind of way. I'm telling you, Mikey, this playground might be the best invention for parents. Look at them climbing, sliding, and running around like there's no tomorrow. It's like a kid's natural habitat. And hey, if it means they'll be a bit more chilled out at home later, I'm all for it. True that, mate. Plus, it's good for us, too. We get a breather while they're having the time of their lives. JJ, mate, where did our little rascals disappear to? It's been a while, and I'm starting to get a bit uneasy. Huh. I noticed that too, Mikey. Let's hope they're not causing trouble somewhere. I don't see them anywhere around. Dad, Uncle Mikey, we went to the big toilet. The big toilet? But we're at the playground! There's no big toilet here, kiddo! Well, we went behind those bushes, and it was like a secret adventure. Okay, guys, next time, let us know before you embark on secret toilet missions. Excuse me, are you the parents of those two adventurous kids over there? Uh, yes, that's us. Is there a problem, officer? Well, I happen to witness your kids taking a bathroom break in a public place. The thing is, there's no restroom nearby. Mate, we might be in for a parenting lecture from a cop, great. Officer, we're really sorry about this. We'll have a serious talk with them and make sure they understand the consequences. Good! It's crucial for them to learn early about respecting public spaces, take care, and keep an eye on those little explorers. Well, JJ, our kids have managed to turn a public space into their own little bathroom. This is beyond embarrassing. 
I can't believe this, Mikey. We need to do something about it, and fast. This is not okay. We can't just leave it like this. People use this area, and it's not fair to them. We need to take responsibility for our kids' actions. Agreed. Let's find something to clean this up. Sand, maybe? We could cover it up, at least temporarily. Ooh, that was close! Looks like we managed to clean up the evidence before the police could pin it on us. Quick thinking with the sand, Mikey. We dodged a major parenting bullet there. It's like a covert operation, covering our tracks with sand. Who knew parenting would involve playing detective? Well, let's hope the police officer doesn't come back and find anything suspicious. All right, kids, gather round. We need to have a serious talk about where it's appropriate to use the bathroom. You see, what happened outside wasn't okay. The police officer had to show us that using public spaces like that is not acceptable. Please forgive us for doing this. We won't do it again. From now on, when you need to go, we find a proper restroom. No more using the streets or open areas. It's not respectful to others, and the police won't be happy if it happens again. Hold on, kids. We're heading home, not exploring someone else's house. Seriously, guys, this isn't our place. Let's not give our neighbors a heart attack. What are you thinking, running into someone else's house like that? We just wanted to see if it's as cool as ours, Dad. Interesting. Breaking into someone's house isn't interesting. It's called trespassing. Thankfully, they realized it wasn't our home and left before we had a real problem. Guys, you can't just enter any house you find fascinating. We need to teach them some boundaries, Mikey. Breaking and entering is definitely not on the list of acceptable activities. Let's go get some rest. I'm already very tired. Let's go to sleep. One eternity later. What has already happened? Why is someone ringing our doorbell? We're not expecting anyone. Good morning. Are you the parents of these two young ones? Eh, yes, we are. What's going on? Why are the police at our door with our kids? And why does everyone look so serious? Your kids were involved in an incident last night, stole a car and caused some damage. What? That can't be right. Our kids wouldn't do something like that. This has to be a mistake. Tell us what happened. Follow us. We'll show you. We found them near the scene. Mate, this has to be a misunderstanding. Our kids aren't car thieves. Stole a car? Are you sure it was them? The evidence points to them, and they were found at the scene. This must be some kind of mistake. Our kids aren't car thieves. They're just kids. We understand your concern, but the situation is serious. Let's go to the station. We can sort things out there. What are we going to do? We can't afford to pay for any damages on that car. Thank goodness for insurance. We can't apologize enough, officer. We'll make sure to have a serious talk with our kids about the consequences of their actions. That's a good start. It's crucial they understand the gravity of what they've done. We'll work through this together, but they need to learn from this experience. Officer, we want to express our sincere apologies for the trouble caused by our kids. We understand the seriousness of the situation. We want to contribute to covering the costs. Here's some money. Please pass it on to the affected party. Thank you. I'll make sure the funds are transferred appropriately. It's good that you're taking responsibility for this. We'll handle the disciplinary side with our kids. They need to understand the consequences of their actions. We appreciate your understanding, officer. We'll make sure our kids learn from this experience and make amends. Once again, officer, we're truly sorry for all the trouble our kids have caused. We'll do our best to make things right. We'll have a serious talk with them and ensure they grasp the gravity of their actions. This won't happen again. What on earth are you two doing? We leave you alone for a minute, and you've already caused trouble at a store? This is not okay. We don't want any more problems with the police. You need to stop right now. It was just a little fun, Dad. No big deal. Oh, lighten up. You've just committed a crime. We can't have this. Listen to us, and let's figure out how to make this right. And you, store owner, we are so sorry. We'll take responsibility for their actions, Kids, you've crossed a line, and we need to fix this mess. JJ, we can't let this behavior continue. It's gotten out of control, and we need to do something drastic. I agree, mate. These kids need a wake-up call. Let's call the orphanage and arrange for them to be taken away. It's heartbreaking, but it might be the best thing for everyone. We need to prioritize their well-being and the safety of others. Hello! We're in a difficult situation with our kids, and we need your assistance. Their behavior has become uncontrollable, and we believe it's in their best interest to be placed in your care. I understand that this is a difficult decision for you both. Rest assured, 
We'll do our best to provide a supportive environment for the kids. Thank you. It's just become too much for us to handle, and we want what's best for them. We appreciate your understanding. Please let them know that we love them, and this decision is made with their best interests in mind. And if they need anything, we're here. We want them to have a chance at a better life. It's tough, JJ, but we had to do what's best for them. I just hope they understand someday. Agreed, mate. It's for their own good. We want them to have a chance at a better life, even if it means they might be upset with us for a while. Let's stay in touch with the orphanage, check on their progress, and make sure they're doing okay. Definitely. We can't just abandon them completely. It's a fresh start for all of us. Finally, mate. A peaceful day at the beach without the chaos of the kids. It's been way too long. Tell me about it. I love them to bits, but a break is much needed. Let's enjoy some quiet time for ourselves. No interruptions, no chasing after them. Just you, me, and the sound of the waves. And maybe a dip in the water without worrying about them running off somewhere? It feels like forever since we've had a relaxed moment like this. Let's savor every minute of it. Our sanity deserves a break, too. You know, JJ, it's nice to have this moment just for us. No schedules, no responsibilities. Couldn't agree more, mate. It's like we're rediscovering what life was like before the constant chaos. What do you mean you don't want to see us anymore? Where did you run off from? We were just trying to do what's best for you. Why would you leave like this? We don't need your rules and decisions. We're old enough to take care of ourselves. This is unexpected. We love you and we only wanted what's best for you. Why are you doing this? Running away isn't the answer. We can talk through whatever issues you have. What just happened? I can't believe they'd run away like this. We were trying to do right by them. This is the last thing I expected. Maybe we pushed too hard, but they're still so young. How can they think they can handle everything on their own? In short, we were offended by the news. We won't talk to you anymore. We will live our own lives and we won't touch him so as not to disturb you. We should have handled things differently, mate. Now they're out there, alone. We need to give them some space, but it hurts to see them go like this. Let's hope they come to their senses and realize we were just looking out for them. I never thought it would come to this. We were just trying to guide them, not push them away. Maybe we were too strict. I never wanted them to feel like they had to run away. Mikey, JJ, you're under arrest for attempting to send your children to an orphanage. What? This has to be a mistake. We were just trying to give them some space, not break any laws. Officer, there has to be some misunderstanding. We love our kids. We would never do something to harm them. Save it for the questioning at the station. You have the right to remain silent. We love them, and we would never do anything to intentionally harm them. This can't be right. This isn't fair. We were just trying to figure things out as parents. This is a nightmare, JJ. We're stuck in this tiny cell, and all we can do is wait for whatever comes next. I can't believe it's come to this. We were just trying to navigate a difficult situation with our kids. And now we're stuck in here, away from them. What if they think we abandoned them? We need to get through this quickly. I can't stand the thought of them feeling like we forgot about them. I just hope they're safe and understand that we love them. No matter what, this is worse than I could have imagined, JJ. Our kids must be wondering where we are and we can't reassure them. I never thought our attempt to do what's best for them would land us here. It's heart-wrenching to think they might feel abandoned. We need to figure a way out of this mess and get back to them. Once we're out of here, we'll make things right. We'll find our kids and explain everything. We heard about you guys getting into trouble. We couldn't leave you behind. You dug a tunnel to rescue us? We were worried sick about you two. We're sorry. Dad, Uncle Mikey, can we come back home? Of course you can. We love you two more than anything. Let's go home and sort everything out. We were in a tough spot, but this shows a lot of determination. Still, you should have stayed at the orphanage. Just promise to stay out of trouble from now on, okay? Two hours later. Wow, JJ! This farm is massive! I never thought we'd end up working on one! Welcome, lads! I'm glad you're here. This is where the magic happens. Crops, animals, you name it. Impressive setup you got here. What's the first task, boss? Well, we need some hands in the fields. We've got a bumper crop this year. Life's full of surprises, Mikey. Just go with the flow. Who knows, maybe we'll discover hidden talents in farming. Take this hoe, it will help you in the future. JJ, can you believe this situation? A butterfly net to harvest wheat? It's like we've stumbled into a farming-themed comedy sketch, not a real job. I share your disbelief, Mikey. I thought maybe it was a quirky initiation or some kind of a twisted team-building exercise. But no, she's dead serious about us chasing wheat like it's a game. And did you see the grin on her face when she handed us those nets? 
JJ, I can't take this anymore. This job, these ridiculous tasks, it's too much. I hate it. Mikey, I get it. But we need the money. Bills won't pay themselves. And we've got mouths to feed. I know, JJ. But I never thought I'd end up in a situation like this. It's humiliating. JJ, do my eyes deceive me? Or is that our esteemed boss stuck in the fence? You're not hallucinating, Mikey. She's definitely in a bit of a bind over there. What's she doing? Testing our problem-solving skills? Well, it's a challenge we didn't sign up for, that's for sure. Let's go see if we can help. JJ, let's head to the house. We need to find a phone. This is beyond our league. She might need medical help. Agreed, Mikey. We can't waste time. But how do we get in? I doubt she left the door unlocked. We've got no choice. Let's hope for an open window or something. We need that phone. Well, that's convenient. Lucky break. No time to question it! Let's grab the phone and call for an ambulance! She might be hurt! Got it. We'll wait for the ambulance outside. Thank goodness we found that phone. She needs professional help. JJ, look over there! The ambulance is finally here. Let's hope they can help our boss. About time. I was getting seriously worried. Let's go see what the doctor says. Dr. Anderson! This is JJ, and I'm Mikey. Our boss got herself into a bit of a situation with a fence. Yeah, it was a real mess. We're just hoping she's going to be okay. Nice to meet you both. Lead me to her, and let's see what we're dealing with. She was attempting some acrobatics with the fence, and, well, it didn't end well. We did what we could, but we're not exactly trained in emergency fence extrications. Let's hope she's back on her feet soon. This whole day has been a roller coaster. Absolutely. We'll be waiting for the good news. Thanks again, Doctor. Mikey, what just happened? Why is everything spinning? Hold on, JJ. We need to get you to the hospital. Doc, help us out here. <sighs> JJ, we need to act fast. This young lady needs urgent medical attention. I'll carry her to the ambulance. We can't waste any time. It seems like she needs medical help. I found her collapsed outside. Let's focus on getting her to the hospital, and then we can find out more. Thanks for bringing her in. We'll take it from here. You two can follow us to the hospital. Please take good care of her. Keep us informed about her condition. We'll head to the hospital right away. Let's go, JJ. We need to be there for her. Mikey, the ambulance is on its way, and we need to follow it to the hospital. Do you have your car nearby? Yeah, I've got the car keys. Let's hustle and get to the hospital as quickly as possible. Every minute counts for her. Mikey, hold on. Did you drop the keys back in the room? We can't afford any more delays. Oh, no. I must have dropped them in the rush. Let's head back and find them quickly. Mikey, we need to find those keys fast. The ambulance is already on its way to the hospital. We're doing everything we can, JJ. The ambulance is ahead, and we'll be there soon. You're right. We need to stay positive. What if she needs someone to talk to? What if it's more than just a physical ailment? I got them. They were under the table. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get back on the road. Let's head to the parking lot and get our employer to the hospital. Time is crucial now. Thanks, Mikey. We can't waste a moment. Our employer's life might depend on us getting her there fast. Hop in, JJ. We need to drive safely but swiftly. The hospital is our destination, and we need to make it there in one piece. I hope she'll be okay. We have to stay strong for her. Let's focus on the road, get her to the hospital, and then we can figure out what comes next. Mikey, before we hit the road, let's meticulously check the car's integrity. I can't bear the thought of breaking down on the way to the hospital. Absolutely, JJ. It's crucial we ensure everything is in order. A breakdown is the last thing we need right now. No issues here. Now let's scrutinize each door, making sure they're secure. The car seems solid. No leaks, strange sounds, or loose parts. We're good to go. Fantastic. Let's hit the road. Every second counts, and we can't let anything hinder us from reaching the hospital swiftly. Mikey, everything was going smoothly. But why are these cars surrounding us suddenly? We can't afford to be delayed now. This is unexpected. We need to figure out what's happening. Maybe there's a way around this without wasting too much time. We can't let anything jeopardize reaching the hospital. Quickly give us all your money here. We are the robbers who control this road you just arrived. Mikey, these aren't regular drivers. They're bandits. What do we do? We don't have any money, and they're talking about taking us hostage. Stay calm, JJ. Let's cooperate for now. We don't want to escalate the situation. We'll figure a way out once we understand their intentions. You two are in the wrong place at the wrong time. We need something valuable, and it looks like yours. We don't have money, and our possessions are limited. Please, let us go. We're in the middle of an emergency. We need to find an opportunity to escape. 
Stay alert and wait for the right moment. I just hope they don't decide to keep us for too long. We can't afford any more delays in reaching the hospital. Mikey, we're being taken to some kind of house with holding cells for hostages. This is a nightmare. Keep your head down. We need to stay vigilant. JJ, I never thought we'd end up in a situation like this. We have to stay strong and find a way out. We'll get through this, Mikey. We just need to wait for the right moment to make a move. It's just so frustrating, JJ. We were only trying to help someone, and now we're stuck here. You're right, JJ. We can't let fear paralyze us. Let's observe our surroundings. Mikey, I know this is tough, but we can't lose hope. We need to find a way to signal for help or escape when the opportunity arises. We have to be smart about this. If we stay vigilant and patient, we might find a way to turn the situation in our favor. I just hope someone realizes we're missing, especially with our employer in critical condition. Time is of the essence. Whoa! Mikey, look up there. I think there's a way to climb up. Let's check it out. There might be a chance to escape or find something useful. It's worth a shot, JJ. We need any advantage we can get. We might be able to use these resources to our advantage. One eternity later. Jackpot! Let's grab what we can, especially that pickaxe. It might come in handy. This could be our ticket out of here. Let's gather as much as we can carry and figure out our next move. Mikey, these resources could be crucial for our escape. Let's be strategic about what we take and make sure we don't attract attention. Agreed, JJ. We should prioritize items that can help us navigate our way out of here without raising suspicion. Well, well, look who's here. You too, stop loitering around. Time to put you to work. There's some earning potential for you. We might as well play along for now. It could give us an opportunity to gather more information or find a chance to escape. Agreed, JJ. Let's see where this work leads us and stay alert for any openings. We have to be smart about this. Let's keep our eyes open for any chance to slip away without arousing suspicion. Right, JJ. We play along until we see an opening, then make our move. Listen up, you too. You're digging the foundation for my new hotel with those sticks. Digging a hotel foundation with sticks? This is our chance. Let's use this absurd task to our advantage. We play along, but keep an eye out for an opportunity to turn these sticks into tools for our escape. Mikey, I can't believe we're supposed to dig with sticks. This is ridiculous. We need to take matters into our own hands. Agreed, JJ. Let's find some real tools and get out of this mess. Our employer needs us, and we can't afford to waste any more time. Mikey, this should do. We can't let these bandits keep us from helping our employer. Let's do it, JJ. We confront them now and make our move to save our employer from the farm. We can't leave her in their hands. Mikey, it's time to end this charade. We can't afford to play along with these bandits any longer. Let's confront them and ensure our employer's safety. Absolutely, JJ. We can't let them dictate the terms. Mikey, it seems we've taken care of these bandits, but what if there's something valuable here? Let's explore further. There might be a hidden treasure or clue. Look at this, Mikey. An underground shaft. This could be the key to unraveling the mysteries of this place. Let's go down and see what we find. It's a risk, but it might be worth it. Who knows what secrets are hidden below? Let's venture into the unknown. Mikey, this could be the turning point. If there's something valuable down there, it might be the key to helping our employer. Let's take the risk and explore the underground. Agreed, JJ. It's a gamble. But if there's a chance it leads to something significant, we can't afford to ignore it. Mikey, it looks like we stumbled upon a nest of zombies. We have to clear this place out. Our employer's safety is at stake. No time to waste, JJ. Let's take them out quietly one by one. We can't afford to attract unnecessary attention. Keep your guard up, Mikey. We can't let any of these creatures get in our way. Our employer is counting on us. I've got your back, JJ. Let's make our way through and find out if there's anything more down here. We can't let them overwhelm us. Stay sharp. A portal in an abandoned mine? It's worth a shot. Maybe it leads to somewhere safer or holds answers to all of this. Ready for whatever comes next, Mikey? We have to find a way to save our employer. Let's do it, JJ. Mikey, look! The doctor couldn't handle the situation and our employer is stuck in that fence. It's electrified. We can't just rush in. We need a plan. We can't afford to lose our employer now. Is there any way to disable the electric fence? We have to think strategically. If we rush in without a plan, we might make things worse. There must be a way to disable that electric fence. Look over there. Maybe that control panel manages the electric fence. Let's try to access it without alerting anyone. Mikey, we need to follow the blood trail. It might lead us to our employer. 
We have to be careful not to alert anyone. Agreed, JJ. Let's stay low and follow the trail discreetly. We can't afford to lose any more time. Mikey, follow the trail of blood. It might lead us to where our employer is. But look, there's a horde of zombies ahead. We can't afford to attract their attention. Let's find a way to navigate through them without getting overwhelmed. There's no room for mistakes here. We need to be quiet and swift. Our employer's life depends on us reaching her. Over there, we might be able to sneak through without alerting too many zombies. Let's go. We need to rethink our approach. Let's backtrack and find another way to reach our employer. Agreed, JJ. We can't afford to get caught in the middle of that horde. We'll explore alternate routes to get to our employer without attracting unnecessary attention. Mikey, look! Our employer managed to free herself from the fence. She's thanking us for saving her. That's a relief. We were worried for a moment there. Glad she's safe now. Thank you both for coming to my rescue. I'll find my way from here. Stay safe! You're welcome. Take care, and if you need anything else, don't hesitate to reach out. Can now focus on navigating through the challenging environment and finding a way out of the precarious situation. Mikey, look what we found. A chest full of dynamite. This could be our way to clear a path and escape this place. Dynamite, the perfect solution. One eternity later. Let's strategically place it to create a distraction and blow our way out of here. It's time. Let's ignite the dynamite and create the diversion we need to get out of here. Here goes nothing. Get ready to move. <laughs> 